Western Oregon. This is NBC 16 News at 6.30. watching NBC 16 News at 6.30. A 21st century technology is bringing new meaning to an old saying that the eyes are the window to the soul. It's actually a lie detector that picks up on brain activity through the eyes. NBC 16's Audrey Wheel shows us how it works. When you think lie detector, a lot of us think of a polygraph, but this is totally different. It's based on different science, it's done entirely on a computer, and it's not just meant for criminal cases. It's something that could impact us. These cameras are gonna look for your eyes. There's no avoiding eye contact with this computer. That's the whole point. Left eye, right eye. To get caught in the act, in the eyes, in a lie. But read the questions carefully, try to give nothing away, and the computer will give you the test. My test is simple. Pick a number and lie about it, but be honest about the rest. The number I did not choose was one. Two is the number that I picked. All of the data is collected, analyzed, and just like that. So it says that number six was the number you were lying about. My eyes gave me away. Yes. Number six. <laughs> so what happened? I tried so hard to act truthful. Since you have to think a little bit harder when you lie, because you have to sort of say, okay, what do I, okay. In just that split second, that's what it's measuring. When you lie, certain parts of your brain activate, your eyes dilate, and you just can't control it. It's tremendous stuff. Robert Gross is a former Lane County Sheriff's deputy and polygraph examiner, now looking to expand the use of this technology called eye detect. The system has about 900 tests for all different uses. Parole and probation, treatment mm -hmm. providers, infidelity, whatever you want. For example, Peter Shannon is a counselor and clinical sex offender therapist. He has to be able to trust his patients. He needs to know they're telling the truth. If he asks, have you been in contact with a minor? Or do you have any undisclosed social media accounts? Things that they must do or can't do to uh, enhance community safety, safety in the families and so forth. So we're interested in making sure that they're complying with those. He says instead of taking their word for it or waiting weeks for a polygraph, this is a quick, cost-effective, accurate alternative. Gross's website lists 33 states where eye detect can be used. The thing is, it's not legal in Oregon. Oregon statute from 1975 states a person can't use a device other than a polygraph to test or question an individual for the purpose of detecting deception or verifying the truth of statements. How much advancement has been made is just phenomenal, and yet we can't use this because of the way the statute was written 40 plus years ago. Gross and Shannon are trying to get that statute amended. It's just a matter of time and we're happy to persevere in order to make sure that happens in our state. They say their hope is that it will take off, not just for public safety use, but also for hiring teachers or youth pastors, for screening refugees, for divorce hearings. The possibility of this is, is um, pretty much up to your imagination. Yeah. Because whatever the case, whoever it is, they say this technology is proof. The eyes don't lie. I spoke to Senator James Manning earlier today. He's looking into the possibility of introducing legislation next session that would legalize eye detect in Oregon. He's most interested in using it as a tool to exonerate people who are wrongfully accused of a crime. He says he'll be talking to colleagues over the next few months and doing some more research. He wants to make sure there wouldn't be any unintended consequences like employers using it as an invasive tool when hiring. In the studio, I'm Audrey Wheel, reporting. Very fascinating that story there. very fascinating. So, technology, wow. Well, we turn to weather now. Travis Knutson is standing by speaking of technology, using that technology to forecast our forecast. Travis?